when you're when you're laid up and don't have nothing to listen to i wanted to see what was going on to catch up with things made a few notes so i'm gonna make my disclaimer if i drop a few words i'm very sorry i'll try to keep it as I fully understand as i can right now i'm really pissed off tonight's live has to be alan one of the most disgusting vile sick to your stomach things i have ever heard you say you are an absolute piece of shit you're a pig alan you're an absolute pig and i hope karma hits you straight in the face and i'm telling you alan that what you've done tonight to the ruzex and what you've done in the memory of shanann and those kids are absolutely the worst I have ever heard. You talk about those other channels who come up with things and you just are out for justice for Shanann. You ain't out for shit but money, Alan. That's all you're out for. That was proven back in March of 2019 when you begged me. You begged me to stay on your channel and to continue giving you money. You're nothing but a liar, an absolute liar. And you have done nothing but tell your subs all kinds of bullshit to tell them that you wanted just this and that and that it was your opinion or it was your theories. The Ruzex and everybody has said it, the case is closed. Frankie Ruzek, you get in touch with Nathan. How much money do you need? Because people know we have it. So I'm asking you, Frankie, how much money left do you need? What do you need from us? Because you better damn believe that before something really seriously happened to me, I told Nathan, if something happens to me, Nathan, follow through with this. Because before I die, I want to see Alan go to jail. And that's the honest truth. If it's my last dying breath and my wish, you, Alan, to go to jail for all the bullshit and pain that you have caused everybody in this case. You have disrespected most I have ever seen, honestly. And for you to say, you lied tonight. You lied straight to him by saying, you didn't know what was on that tape. You're a barefaced liar. Because I have a comment from two days ago where one of your subs says, are you gonna meet us over in the other channel? Well, the other fucking channel is the channel that you just played tonight. Alan, that comment is still up still up on your live on one of your lives from two days ago when i seen that comment i thought what other channel he's already got four he had jack and nori and he had this pet thing that he changed and now he's got the official channel that he's dropping his videos on and now he's got this one and his armchair detective and he's affiliated with these people he's been saying he's working with the watts these people aren't the watts these people are in their own mindset they have their own opinion and they have their own hidden agenda. They are nothing but Shanann haters. And for you to put that on your live stream, you will have everything coming to you, Alan. Everything. It was disgusting. So you had a theory once before, the hammock. I remember you showing a hammock saying that Shanann was carried out in the backyard because there was tracks from construction workers, mind you. But you said Shanann was carried out in the backyard, wrapped in a hammock, and then thrown over the fence in the back of a truck. What happened to that theory, Alan? Uh, that, that lasted for about, what, three or four days? The hammock theory lasted for three or four days, and then you decided, well, you're not getting enough bites on that one, so you come up with another one, right? So what happened to that one? You're so full of shit. People don't climb out windows. You've got five people in this house because you had four pieces of chicken. You've got, you got a damn parking lot in your yard full of cars. You've got a red car. You've got a, a silver truck. You've got a silver truck stopping up and down. You've got all these people hanging out. It just lies. And I can't wait. I honestly can't wait for you to be held accountable for all the crap that you have said and done. For all this crap, what happened to the chloroform? Then you come up with a chloroform, that she was chloroformed. Well, you know what? In my house, if you don't flush the toilet or when we move into some of these community houses and even in them, 
Sometimes they have a brown settlement in them. It has nothing to do with using the bathroom or anything else. It's a brown settlement. It could be iron in the water. It could be different types of um, different types of whatever metals or something in the water. It makes that brown stain, especially if you don't have water running into it. It's automatically in there. So that's another lie. The red car. Everybody knows there was no red car, Alan. You just keep on and on and on about this damn red car. But if you look really close, when, when Chris starts his truck up, because he does start his truck up, he starts the truck up. When he starts the truck up, the brake lights come on, which as her lights come on, you can see the two, the two red lights from the starting of the vehicle on hers, the running lights, automatically reflects to that. There is no other red car. She didn't have a red car, it's a silver car. You can plainly see the silver. What you're seeing is reflection from the red. So you lied there, okay? And the gray truck. Well, that's the day that I left you over that stupid ass gray truck in the window. I can very clearly remember, I believe that's the day that Dave S left too, because I was trying to tell in the chat, Dave S was trying to tell you at the same time that there was no there was no blackouts. It was the most poor manipulation of a photo I have ever seen. You put a black stripe across it, like some kind of ink marker, which was absolutely stupid. It was the most stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life, okay? So the gray truck is bunk, debunked. The gray truck also, the lights on the gray truck, when you, did you know that when you have a vehicle, if you start the vehicle, if you hit your keys, you can hit your keys from the house, and if you hit your keys from the house, your lights will come on. And your lights come on for about three to five seconds, if I'm not mistaken. And then as you get closer to the car, they start fading unless you open the door or hit the trigger again. So there was no blinking of lights. There was nobody warning somebody to come in. There was none of this, okay? It's the, fa the lights faded. He got in the vehicle. If you see the one headlight, where it disappears, it's because Chris is standing on the outside of the vehicle. He's hiding until he gets, until he sees uh, poor Betty come out of her driveway. He didn't want Betty to see him in that vehicle, getting in the vehicle. He didn't want nobody to see him that night. So that's why that light was there. Plus there was also a bush. You know, the wind was blowing. You can see by the flag, the wind was blowing. So the bush also did a little bit of a fade. When he started the vehicle, there was not two vehicles, one pulling up beside the other. Give me a fucking break, Alan. One of them is the side mirrors. If you look very closely, it's the side mirrors because those four lights run exactly together as he's pulling forward, backs up into the driveway. So you're a dumbass, and anybody who believes him is nothing but a dumbass, okay? The next thing, the shadows. Alan, you didn't discover the shadows. I've seen comments this morning on, on your videos we thought, we thought you discovered the shadows. You told us about the shadows. You're the one who discovered. You didn't discover the damn shadows. You stole them off of Diane Hughes. Diane Hughes discovered the shadows, and I believe it was also on Reddit prior to. So there was more people who seen the shadows. She brought the, she brought the theory to you. She showed you what she had found, and you ran with it. And now you're milking it, calling yourself the shadow man. And now you got this damn shadow lady on your room, in your channel. Silly Nana, are you shadow lady? Go ahead. Why did you change your name? Because that's who you are, the shadow lady. So she can hide all she wants. She's claiming herself to be shadow lady. You ain't nothing. You, you mods ain't nothing. You guys are a bunch of liars and pieces of shit who back a man who supports someone, who supports someone, and is trying to get someone out of jail for killing his wife and, and kids. Disgusting, Alan. Now, the porn links. Let's talk about the porn because through all of this, through all of this, people are forgetting that this sick man once before was caught on a live listening to porn because we all heard it. We all heard the moans and groans. I heard the moans and groans, ah, ah, all this bullshit going on. It was disgusting. And he was called out for it at the time. Now he's done porn links again in the middle of this. So when I, I went on to Google and I wanted to see how my searches went in line. Okay. So when I went into search online, he put in, he put in William Her, then he put in Netflix, then he put Mother Mix Come Off Daughter's Face. And then he did, he did those three in a segment row. So in the segment row, those are the three things that he was looking at. 
in a row while this live was going on. He was looking up disgusting stuff. The Netflix, I would just about damn bet it was not the Watts Netflix. He was looking up cuties because he needs to get his little winky off. That's all he can get. He can't get anything else. He can't even get a fucking woman. He can't keep a woman. You piece of shit. Where's the justice for Shanann? Tell me, Alan, where's justice for Shanann? Because you just throw that right out the window today. And then you try to, when you talk fast this afternoon or this morning, whenever you did this live, when you talk fast, you're trying to cover your tracks because you knew that over 300 comments were deleted. Over 300, just because people were asking, why are you doing this, Alan? So your mods got finger happy and you're telling Alan, just listen, just listen. I'm, I'm not pro Shan, I'm not pro Watts, I'm not pro Justice, I'm, I'm for the truth. The truth is, Alan, is read the damn discovery if you know how to read. If you don't, you can go to Google search and ask them to read it for you. Because that's the, the day's modern technology. You would know that because you have a brand new iPhone. Because if you look three weeks ago or prior to his porn, you can look at the phone and it was one phone. But look at the new phone he's showing you. It's a brand new phone. You think that you're hiding. You think you're hiding something by getting a new phone so you won't get dobbed in. You also are streaming off of hotspot from your phone. Hotspot. So this $300 is, is uh, your crowd cast. And it's also your internet, which is now on your phone. It's your phone. That's why your videos are shit. That's why they buffer all the time. You don't, you're not, you don't have a modem or a router. You don't have a modem or router. And you know you don't. You did it because you think that they can't do your searches. So this is how you think that you're going to hide things. Well, little do you know, Mr. Allen, they have it on their server. And if they go and investigate you, they will find it. They will find this porn. You are a disgusting pig. Disgusting. 35C. 35 states that is his conviction is somehow was unconstitutional. How was his conviction unconstitutional, Alan? When he confessed to killing Shanann inside while he was being interrogated. Then he turns around and said that he killed him on right before he went to court or went to trial. So he stood trial and got done in for the murder of all of them. All of them, Alan. Then he confessed again when Tammy Lee and him went out there and, and wanted to hear the whole story. He confessed again. So he's got three confessions, dumbass. There is no 35C. He's not going to get a 35C. You're wishing. And for you to even help this family, you disgusting pig. He's confessed. There's, there's, there's in the interrogation room. I, I can't believe you. The insiders, the amount of insiders and outsiders that you've had on your channel, Alan. He's confessed. There's, there's, there's in the interrogation room. I, I can't believe you. It's just stupid. Absolutely stupid. What happened to the jailhouse girl? right? You know what? She was writing, she was a fan girl of Chris Watts and Chris passed her on to the other bloke because I'm sure Chris wasn't wanting, he wasn't wanting fan mail of some girl who's after prison love because that's all she wanted is freaking prison love to fall in love with someone who's a bad boy. What happened to her, Alan? Suddenly she's gone. She's got all this stuff. You took her material? Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Can't believe you. Honestly, I hope. Frankie, again, you tell me how much money you need. You tell us. You let me and Nathan know. Two years. Two years of this bullshit. 19 months, almost 20 months away from you, Alan. And you are still going on and on and on about this crap. And I'm going to tell you a little, little secret. You want to know who turned you into the tax man, Alan? I did. There's my bomb dropping. I turned you into the tax people, Alan, because you know what? When I filed my taxes, I filed the donation because that's the way PayPal wanted me to state it as a donation, as a donation to a charity, right? So as a donation, you said you needed this and you needed that. So I dropped you down as a donation. So you were turned into the tax people, Alan, by me trying to get my money back. And the thing is, is the tax people told me that you wouldn't give them their, their details. So that investigation is still ongoing. 
I will continue with the tax refund. Every year I have filed, for the last two taxes now, I have filed on that donation. And I'll get it back, Alan. Even if I just watch you go to jail, I got my money back. And watching you go down and suffer, I got my money back. You're disgusting, Alan. I hate you. I absolutely hate you. I hate the breath you have. I despise everything about you. You have a brand new grandkid, but you know what? If I was your family, I'd be scared to let you touch my grandchild. Little touchy boy, I'd be scared. You have all kinds of perverted thoughts, don't you, Alan? If they were to see that, they'd never let you see their, their, their grandchildren. You'd never get to see your grandchildren if they knew what kind of shit you were looking up. And I think that somebody needs to tell them that you were looking up ancestral porn, you disgusting pig. I'm sorry, Maureen. On my last dying days, I want justice for the Ruzak family. That's who I want justice for. Get yep. this man off. Get him off. I know that everybody has filed reports or reporting. Filing reports by just hitting that little fight button isn't going to do it. You need to go into in depth, in depth, filing of reports. I have done a lot of filing reports. And Nathan even went to Parliament. Let me just say this. Nathan went to Parliament and he spoke to the, to the Prime Minister or the Minister of uh, Social Media, those types of things. And he spoke to them and he told them about you, Alan. He explained everything about them. And they said that if we could, if this had happened in Australia, you'd be gone by now, Alan. If you were an Australian, you'd be gone. You'd be busting rocks and not come out. As I'm sick, and I don't know the outcome of my life, but I'll tell you this, because I'm not sure if I'm gonna go through chemo or radiation again. I don't know, I haven't decided. A part of me says, no, I'm not gonna do it. But I'm gonna tell you, I want Alan gone and I would love to see that before I die. I would love to see it before I die. And that's how bad I hate you, Alan. I'll shut up now, Maureen. Thank you for letting me on. And I hope that anybody listening that just left his channel, because there's plenty of them, plenty of them, the comments are saying that people are leaving. Come over here. You'll hear the truth. We have evidence. There's evidence to back it up. Alan has never, ever shown evidence. Keep that in mind. He has always come up with, in my opinion, or conspiracy theories. Thank you for letting me on. You're always welcome. Do take care. Don't let I him will. stress you out. No, he's not going to stress me out. Because um, before I die, I have a mission and I would like to see Alan taken down. Martin... <laughs> Truth, justice, all yep. of you guys, keep it up. Keep following reports, reporting, report the channel, and then it'll give you videos that you can tick on what you, what is wrong with those videos. You can pick multiple videos, and then you have 300 words to make a comment. You can do this over and over. Take the channel down, and then I can be in peace. And again, Frankie. Let me know if you need anything, and I really, truly mean that. I truly mean it. Until I know how much Frankie needs, I won't be doing the GoFundMe until, if Frankie says, Summer, I need $2,000, $3,000 to get us there, then consider it done, Frankie. Whatever you need. Do you have a lawyer? Do, what do you need? Do you need help getting a lawyer? Have you already contacted a lawyer there? You just need to tell us what you need. And then we'll see what we can do to make this happen. Thank you. God bless you guys. I love you. Keep up the good fight. I'm taking down. That's it.